you're gonna want to know some of the situations you might find yourself in in which you would have to remove your teeth. Hey guys, so it is 64 degrees in Florida. I got my doors open, the windows are open. I am cleaning the house from top to bottom, listening to classic rock. It's a great day, I love it. I love days like this. But anyways, I wanted to pop on here and talk about something that I know a lot of people are concerned with because it has always been a concern of mine and that's being seen without your teeth. In what situation will you end up being without your teeth? It has always been a fear of mine. I don't like it. In fact, when I go to the dentist office and they have to remove these, I ask for a mask so that I'm not just sitting there in the chair with no teeth. I will not have a conversation with people. Like, it, it's, I don't like the way it sounds. I don't like the way it looks. And maybe there will come a point in my life where I have just completely gotten over it and accepted it. Not today. I know that a lot of people are there too, where they're like, you know, good for you that you're very comfortable doing that. But for me, it's, I'm not there yet and I may nev never be there. And that's fine. That's okay. You're going to want to know some of the situations you might find yourself in, in which you would have to remove your teeth and just plan ahead because there are times when you get an MRI they ask, I've Googled it like crazy. They say, when you get an MRI, you are supposed to take your dentures out. Here's the thing, it deals with metal. Like they want you to take all of the metal off of you. So any kind of jewelry you have, if you have underwire in your bras, anything metal can be affected by this giant magnet in this machine and i do know that there are certain dentures that have metal in them partials have metal certain dentures are made out of metal i have metal implants but they're titanium and they're not magnetic like they don't they're not affected by the mri so i and i've had mris so that's not a concern. When I Google it, they say, take all of the dentures out, whether they have metal in them or not. Oh my God, the back door's open and I'm, I'm letting flies in the house. I'm worse than the kids right now. <laughs> they say to take all of the dentures out. So my best advice is that if you're scheduled for an MRI and that's a concern of yours, then just call ahead and ask them what their procedures are for people with dentures. What are the rules? Are, are you going to have to take them out or not? Not so that you can avoid getting an MRI, okay? Like if you have have to get imaging done then it's for a reason don't cancel your appointment but just so that you can mentally prep honestly anybody within the healthcare industry they have seen the absolute weirdest things the grossest things the most downright terrifying things you without your dentures in there in your mouth is not an issue for them at all they see it all the time it's gonna bother you way more than it bothers them so please don't let that affect you like taking care of your health and making sure that you're doing what the doctor's telling you to do if you're going to have surgery if you're going to be put under general anesthesia i think even with like a colonoscopy they want you to take your dentures out and it's not just because the dentures could be a choking hazard while you're asleep it's also because in the event of an emergency if you have to be intubated then they need clear access to your airways. It happens. They want you to take the dentures out and that's something that you need to be prepared of. You don't need to be walking in there and just be blindsided by it because I get it again. It's a fear of being seen without your teeth. Childbirth, I didn't have to remove my teeth. I had Nova when I had dentures. I got my dentures in 2010. She was born in 2012. So she's the only child that I had and gave birth to as a denture wearer. And I asked them up front when they asked if I had ever had any kind of surgery or medical procedures done, I told them, yes, I lost my teeth and I have dentures. And I could have gotten away with not telling them that because they were just completely blown away. They had no idea that I was a denture wearer. My main concern is my health. And if the doctors believe that there's a situation where I have to remove my teeth, then it doesn't matter how embarrassing that is for me. I'm going to follow the doctor's advice because I am a hypochondriac. I don't want anything going wrong. You give me the rules, I'm going by the book. I asked them if I would have to take my teeth out and they said no for like just regular labor situations, you can keep your teeth in. But if there was a emergency C-section or something like that, there was a possibility that I would have had to remove them. As long as you are prepared for that emotionally and mentally, I think that you won't have a problem. 
It's when you walk into something having no idea and then you're told on the spot to take your teeth out. I can totally understand how that would be terrifying for you. Now I'm gonna briefly talk about things that are within your control. I had a phone call with Don Yancey. We were talking for like 40 minutes, going over different scenarios in which people might have to take their teeth out. And so we were talking about all of these things. And he brought up something that I thought was wild. I have never even considered this. If you're going to be vomiting, if you feel yourself getting sick, I highly recommend that you take your dentures out. For instance, he said that if you're on a boat and you start to get a little seasick, you're instinctively going to go to the side of the boat and vomit over the edge of the boat. When you forcefully vomit, it can cause your teeth to fly out of your mouth and dentures do not float. They sink. Same thing with vomiting in the toilet. People have actually puked their dentures into the toilet and flushed it not knowing. I mean, I, I imagine if you've had enough to drink, I can see that totally happening. If you feel like you're going to be getting sick, then you're going to want to definitely remove your dentures first and then puke. I completely understand if you're apprehensive about being seen without your teeth because I don't like it either. Nobody's perfect. It's fine that some of us just are not totally there and don't feel like you have to be pressured to fully accept that right now. There's ways that you can plan for it and immensely prep. So if you've ever been asked to remove your teeth for some kind of medical procedure or anything else that you can think of, then share it down in the comments section below because I'm sure that there's probably other situations that I had never even thought of, such as vomiting over the side of a boat. Hello. So if you found this video helpful, make sure that you give it a like, share it with somebody that you think might benefit from hearing it, and subscribe to my channel. That's the best way that you can support what I do on YouTube. And then I will see you guys next time and y'all take care.